hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so this battle over Dolph's stuff is starting to heat up now remember when i was telling y'all before i was like it amazes me that nobody is beefing over Dolph's stuff out of all the stuff that he owned and this and that and, that and this everybody act like they was content and this and that and, that and this it just puzzles me that as soon as I put the video up talking about her Jody, 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 y'all, the Shitika has hit the fan, y'all. The Hashitika, shout out to so so my damn. Um, the Shitika has hit the fan now, y'all. Um, word on the street is, y'all, that Dolph. This is why Mia J did not know about. <laughs> The tree spots, okay, in California, y'all. This is why it was they were put in the his sister and his auntie Rita name. This is what I am hearing, y'all. Word on street. Those spots were put in their names. And we all know that Aunt Rita, I believe it's Aunt Rita, she passed away right after Dolph because she was in remission with cancer. So, I don't know what happened. I think, I don't know if she had a heart attack or whatever, whatever. Because she probably, they say she took Dolph's passing really, really hard. So, uh, I don't know, did she come out of remission or was it a heart attack or whatever. But, yeah, y'all, she passed away right after. And they were in her name, in his sister's name. Y'all, this is why Mia J did not know about them. And word on the street is, when I put the video up talking about them, that's when she started digging. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And they said that, you know, California, due to the fact that she is the kid's mom, they um they let her take over. And they are going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now, y'all. Papa Oreo is peed off right now. Word on the street. Okay. They said he's going off about this whole situation, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all know them houses, them 100 houses? It's still no information showing up about those 100 houses that he had as well. That stuff is, um, y'all, they're going to be in battle. They're they going to be going to court battling on a lot of stuff, y'all, basically, okay? Um, they're saying that daddy-o when he went and took over all of Dolph's stuff. And this is what they, they're really saying about daddy -O. They're saying that daddy -O helped put Dolph on and he feel like, you know, he should be over his stuff. Okay, this is what he, they're saying. He feeling like, I guess Dolph owes him something, y'all. Now, y'all remember that Dolph did a video. Okay? Y'all remember... That Dolph did a video saying that he had paid back Papa Oreo, okay? Had paid him back. And that he didn't owe him anything and that the, the pre and all of this stuff was all his. And right after, he said he got the paperwork and everything. And right afterwards, y'all, right afterwards, Dolph was taken out. And it was like those papers disappeared into a poof, thin air. And Papa Oreo was back in there acting like he was running things. And word on the street is, Papa Oreo feel like he has the right to everything that Dolph has because he the one that helped put him on. Okay? Now, never mind Dolph pay him out. So this goes to show you that there is some jealousy going on that was going on with Dolph. And remember, I, I talked about this before, that somebody that was kind of uh, mentoring Dolph, but Dolph surpassed him. With money, with everything, smarts, all that stuff, as far as business wise, um, he surpassed him, paid him off, and kept moving. Okay, and they said that Papa Oreo was feeling some type of way, y'all. This is what they're saying. 
he was feeling some type of way. And I'm going to just say this, y'all. I, I do believe, and this is my personal opinion, okay? And this is my personal opinion. But I do believe, y'all, that um, it's a possibility that he played a serious part in this mess that happened to Dolph. It's a lot of people that wanted to take Dolph's place, y'all. A lot. A lot of people. And I'm just saying, he hit the ground running when Dolph passed away. He hit the ground running, y'all. Taking over his spots and everything. He literally went to court, y'all. Word on the street, he literally went to court. And he was uh, telling the courts that um, Dolph Mama and Father could not handle y'all. This is some serious stuff. When you tell the courts that Dolph parents can't handle this, they are smoking their kneecaps off. Now, my understanding that you used to smoke their kneecaps off, that they are not doing it anymore. I don't know. I don't know them. But um, it just puzzles me that somebody that's a friend or ex-business partner could go and take over things. This is why I say they need to look into this lawyer. I would sue the crap out that lawyer that was handling Dolph's stuff. And I would sue the crap out of uh, Papa Oreo. Because he has been running these spots for years now. And those spots make millions of dollars, y'all. Millions. And for him to go and say that, um, you know, Dolph's parents were, you know, street pharmacy, you know, addicted this is what he went and said y'all he argued and you know there in his defense he argued that they were not capable of handling the estate this is what he did this is how he got the stuff in his name y'all so him and Mia J is going at it right now he's trying to counter sue her and, well, I don't know if she's suing him, but I, she, he's trying to sue her now so that he can get the stuff back. He feel like this stuff is owed to him. Y'all, this guy is off his rockers. And this takes you into a whole nother a ball game because that's some screws missing there. Okay? And not only that, they're also saying that he has other stuff of Dolph's. That he is, you know, Mia J has to go to court to get from him. Now, I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what the whole situation is or what all he has. But they're saying that he has more stuff of Dolph's. And he feel like just because he helped him that, you know, he acts like he owes him something. He owed this to him. Y'all. They said that when, when Dolph passed away, this guy took over the whole, the funeral service, everything. And I, I couldn't believe that because I'm going to just say this, y'all. How, how could you do this? And Mia J was the baby mama. Like if the parents and the sisters and aunties and everybody did not want to handle it, and the mama and them and the daddy, you would have thought that Mia J would have. This is why I keep telling y'all that I do believe that Mia J was mad at him at the time that he passed. And she didn't care about the funeral services. For her to let Papa Oreo handle all of that, that tells you something. She was peed off. And ain't nothing like a woman scorned. I'm going to just say that. Ain't nothing like it. And I want to show y'all something. I just want to show y'all this picture of um, Mia J and Jody being kind of phony together, acting like they like each other, but they really don't. Mia J didn't like her, and she didn't like Mia J. This is why I think right now that, you know, Mia J and Papa Oreo is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Overdolph stuff now. It's a battle going on right now. 
And I do not know why they haven't opened up a, a state for a dog and uh, letting the court system handle it so that all of this stuff would be to the kids. Because if you ask me, I'm with a lot of my subscribers that feel like Mia J don't deserve nothing either. That's the kids, not her. She wasn't married to him. He didn't really, he wasn't feeling her like that. He was putting out song after song after song talking about he can't trust somebody that say that, that don't trust a female that say they love you because they'll be out there trying to, you know, snake you too. He was doing a lot of songs talking about that, y'all. Now, never mind that he was doing some shady stuff by mingling and tingling with all of these outside women. How can you expect a woman to, you know, act right when you ain't acting right? Now, that's um, that's one thing I just have to throw out there. Because men act like they can go and do whatever it is that they want to do, some of them. And you're supposed to sit in the house and cook and clean and do what you're supposed to do in the house while they rip and run the streets with whoever they want to. Okay? Um, this was the case with Dolph. Word on the street. Dolph had a lot of sad chicks. And Monica was one of them, word on the street, that he was hitting that too. But I think Monica was an agent. She was a plant put there so that, you know, she can run back and report to the ops. That's my personal opinion. I'm going to say allegedly, but that's how I feel about that. Just like I feel about this one. I think that she came on scene, Jody, 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 from New York because of, and that's my personal opinion too. You can't grow up in the same neighborhood as Jay-Z. And then Jay-Z them offered him a contract and he don't sign with him. And he signs and, and you up under his wing. Like, I just don't see that as a coincidence, okay? She grew up in the same neighborhood as Jay-Z. So, I feel like Jody was sent there for this drama. Okay, y'all? And I do believe this is why that Mia J didn't want to handle the funeral services and none of that stuff. I told y'all when he first passed, she, she she wasn't showing emotions like that. She didn't want the kids to touch her when she did that little. They was putting the name, the block, and his, you know, the name sign on the block. And the baby was trying to hold her hand. She was like, she didn't even want to touch the baby, y'all. Her own daughter. She was pretty much like, girl, go. Go over there to her because I ain't got time to be holding your hand. This is how Mia J was acting. Mia J was not showing no kind of emotions toward Dolph's passing whatsoever. And only reason why I feel like she's trying to show some now is because, I guess, maybe sympathy. Maybe, like, she's going through to this battle now with Papa Oreo over Dolph's money and his belongings. Now, you know, she could argue and say that she's going toe-to-toe -to -toe would look how she looking at her y'all <laughs> lord have mercy like girl bad get out my face this had jody looking at her like girl bad i told y'all this is what they she was sent for to come more and more between these two right here they already had problems dolph was already cheating but for you to bring you know this this female in in the middle of between you and her, and then you start hitting that too, and you're supposed to be working with her. Y'all don't think Mia J wasn't gonna feel some type of way? I knew she was. And when I just put that video out, now all of a sudden they're going toe to toe, her and Papa Oreo, which makes me think that the rumors could be true that Mia J and Papa Oreo was working together. And they probably was um, doing some mingling and tingling. I don't know. Maybe they some kin. There's a lot of people's kin folks. So I, I don't know. But um, it's seeming like some jealousy going on right now. The fact that um, Jody is allegedly pregnant. The fact that Jody is allegedly pregnant by Papa Oreo. And the fact that... Because I want y'all to think about this. If you're... a uh, if you were somebody's woman, and you they, you they baby mama, and you start a clothing line, you would think that that clothing line will be in reference to you and your man, not to you and your man's business partner. Mommy-o sounds just like daddy-o. I'm just saying. That seems suspect to me. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all feel about this. Mommy-o sounds like daddy-o all day long. That's the mommy and daddy. 
okay and i'm just gonna put that out there all of a sudden now that you didn't get wind of you know you didn't get played out of your position and somebody is making millions of dollars off of dogs passing and you don't have your hand in a cookie jar, but this female right here allegedly, allegedly, allegedly has her hand in a cookie jar. Um, this girl swooped in and she made sure, made sure if she was even, if she was with Dolph, she was finna get paid. She got that record deal and then allegedly they was hitting it. He was hitting it. Okay. She made sure that she swooped in and she handled, I told y'all this girl swooped in and handled her business and swooped right back out. And she swooped out with still connections to Dolph's money. Even if she's dating Papa Oreo right now, okay? Even if she's dating him right now, even if she didn't want to get pregnant by him, she is tied to Dolph's money still. And the fact that his own baby mama did not know. Y'all wonder why she calling her a hundred. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mia J could feel it. If y'all don't see, Mia J know. Mia J know that this girl do not like her. Mia J know that Dolph was hitting that. But I don't think she knew. That, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, that Papa Oreo was hitting it. And I think this is why they battling right now. It's going down in the courthouse with them. They're going at it over Dolph's stuff right now. And to be honest with y'all, I truly believe that Mia J is doing this for herself, not the kids. And I do believe that she should not be put over that money either, to be honest with y'all. I'm just going to throw that out there. Okay. I think they should do the same thing they did with Mo3 Estate. Um, put it as to where it give the kids, you know, the, the, the baby mama, she get an allowance every month for whatever the kids need. This is what they're doing with Mo3's estate right now. And they're piecing out that money so that it can last the kids and it be all used for the kids and not for uh, Mia J to go on her trips, you know, spoil her new boyfriends or whatever else she might want to do. Go buy a bunch of name brand clothes, this and that, that and this. This is not for that. This is for the kids. And that's my personal opinion. They should get an estate. They should get somebody that's going to be over the estate that's responsible. And I don't think it should be her. I totally don't. The fact that she gave Makita's cookies now over $30,000, that alone makes me not like Mia J. Okay, y'all? That alone. Okay? Ain't no way. The fact that her, her brother passed away and she almost lost her man, and then Dolph passed away and you act nonchalant like you was content just like Key Glock, that tells me that you were mad at this man. And the main reason she was mad at this man was Jody. I know he cheated with other females, but Jody was, she was prying a ledge in between these two. Okay? Dolph was acting like he was whipped on Jody. Y'all, she acted like she had a little puppy. She put his little chain on him and, you know, walking, walking. Okay? This is how he was acting around Jody. Like she was in control. Okay, y'all. And the fact that she got that title of first lady when she, this was the first lady. Even though he was out there cheating, this is who they considered first lady, his baby mama. But then she had to all of a sudden share that title. Y'all. And now she probably been in contact with, you know, Papa Oreo, but Papa Oreo been keeping a lot of stuff from Mia J. Not only have he been keeping a lot of stuff from Mia J, but now all of a sudden, you can tell Mia J was jealous of Jody. She was truly jealous of Jody. She saw her as competition. And it's crazy because she's still competition right now. She's still competition right now for her. 
I guess she thought that she could get rid of Jody by getting her out of pre, getting her away from her man. If 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 you won't leave him alone, then he can go. You won't have him. I won't have him. You still won't have him. But now she didn't found out Miss Jody. And Papa Oreo. It got something going on. Word on the street. I don't know. I don't be around it. But this is what I'm hearing, y'all. And there's trouble in paradise now. She is going after Papa Oreo with everything she has. And she went through California court system to get all this stuff away from Papa Oreo. She got him up out of there fast, y'all. And word on the street is she is going after everything else. Now, I don't know what else he could have of Dolph. Maybe he's in control of his cars. Maybe he has some of his jewelry. I don't know. But they're saying that he has some more stuff that's tied. He didn't tie himself to Devil's Dolph's. It's looking like, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. If I was family members of Dolph, I would be looking into Papa Oreo. I don't care what nobody say. I would be looking into him. And I'm going to just be completely honest. When I first started doing Dolph videos, people was reaching out to me, asking me to do Dolph videos because I had did so much digging with Mo3 videos. So everybody was reaching out to me like, can you do Dolph? Can you start doing some research? When I started doing Dolph's videos, um, I got a cease and desist from Papa Oreo. That's why I call him Papa Oreo. Because I got a cease and desist from him. To not talk about him. But the thing of it is, all these other bloggers talk about him all the time. All of them. They show his pictures, everything. But he sent me a cease and desist. Why me out of everybody? Okay, y'all. That alone makes me think that uh, Papa Oreo is up to some stuff. And he did not want me to talk about him whatsoever. But it's okay if everybody else talk about him. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm talking about... Uh, the unsolved guy, the, uh, I forgot the name of it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The unsolved, what's the name of that page? Is it Young Dolph Unsolved? Something like that. This guy be going to town on him. Everybody else be mentioning his name, putting his pictures up, talking about him. But out of everybody, I was the one you took the time to get a lawyer to send me information on. and now I am sitting back looking and thinking about all of this and I'm like really why me out of everybody why because I was when at the time that I was digging up on him it was a lot of people that was attached to him that is also attached to your body and I found that out from the early start of this that a lot of people that were attached to Yo Gotti was running all up in Dolph's face. And they were all attached to Pop Oreo too. I got people in my comment section was like, who are you talking about? Y'all can answer when I can't. I can't answer. And they like, you can say his name, baby girl. No, he don't want me to. <laughs> Look, he don't want me to talk about him, but everybody else can. And now... This information that I just released about the Jody, shit could just hit the fan. He probably even more mad at me right now because Mia J was not even coming at him until I did that video. Talking about him with the tree businesses in California. Okay, y'all? And now it's okay for him to, you know, be in the same city and state with his tree businesses as Jay-Z them. But they did not want Dolph there. So to me, it looked like Papa Oreo made some type of agreements or plans with Jay-Z now. Because how is you able to do this 
But Dolph wasn't. I'm just saying, y'all. Something ain't right. If Dolph was in competition with you at that location and you take over, you are in competition with them too. So why is it okay for you to do it but wasn't okay for Dolph? Y'all got some secretly agreements going on. Anybody can put two and two together. Dolph didn't have a chance in the world. He had so many snakes around him, it didn't make no sense, including this one right here. And everybody was putting her on this pedestal like she was just amazing, okay? Just because you're pretty, just because you got, you know, you know, even if you got a nice shape, that doesn't make you smart. Just because you can speak with intelligence and this and that, okay? Because I get tongue-tied all the time. That does not make you the smartest person in the world. Because if she was so very smart... She wouldn't have got tricked out of her position. She got tricked out of her position. They sent a female into their inner circle. Swooped in. Got signed. Started messing with her man. She allegedly got mad about it. And went along with the program. Okay, y'all? went along allegedly 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 with the program to erase Dolph word on the street and now she looking stupid I said she was looking stupid because now she's kicked back you know yeah Dolph left them with a lot of money she probably never have to work a day in her life but look how Papa Oreo swooped in, took over Dolph businesses that she knew nothing about. Somebody that she was beefing with on the label that was the first lady, Jody, allegedly is with Papa Oreo, enjoying Dolph's money with another man that you was working with through your clothing line and everything else that you thought was on the up and up. And now you got played. And you are now just 2024, 20, the middle of 24, finding out that Dolph had these businesses and this and that and that and this. And now you got to go to battle with his business partner, whom Dolph had already paid off. Dolph owed the sandwich man. <laughs> they call him the sandwich man. Dolph owed the cookie old Oreo cookie man nothing. He was paid back. And you got tricked out of your position because they put a female in there so you could get mad and jealous and pee it off every time you call your man he's with her. And you just got steam coming out your nose because you lost control when that female came on the scene and you knew it. Like I showed y'all that picture of Dolph looking like he was a little puppy child standing next to Jody. Like, he's sitting there smiling, holding her. But with Jody, he was sitting there like she was in control, standing next to her. Looking like he was whipped. Thinking, when am I going to be able to hit that again? That's how he was looking. She saw it. Believe me. Mia J saw that. And she was not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with nobody until I just brought up Jody. And now her and Papa Oreo is bumping heads like crazy, y'all. They are battling. When I tell y'all they battling, they battling right now. They are battling. And I got people coming in my comment section. You need to go to this page and do your and, and look at his research and, and, and follow. I don't follow people like that. Like, I'll check somebody else's stuff out. If they stuff co coincides with mine, then fine. Okay? 
but I don't go to somebody's other page. So don't come on my page leaving me messages talking about go over there to this person and this and that and, that and this. Because that person that you told me to go over there and check out their stuff and, 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 and this and that, they had some stuff on there that was questionable. Okay? The person that allegedly runs that page is questionable. Okay? I done had a history with that person. So don't keep coming to my page telling me, oh, go over there and, and I'm trying to plug somebody else's page in my comment section. If people ain't sending me no shout outs, I ain't about to send them none like that. Okay, y'all? Especially them because they in a whole inner circle of other people. Okay? Don't come to my page with that mess for you get blocked and won't be able to say nothing your own self. Okay? I don't need that person to go check out their research just because they are saying that oh jody said that mia j is the one that set them up i say both of them set them up i'm not finna say oh jody said this because she's cute y'all wanna the person on the other page is going over there saying that oh jody is feeling looking at mia j because mia j is the one that set them up this is why they saying that she looking at her like she set her up no she's looking at her like b what he's seeing you i'm the new I, I'm the new in town and you are nothing this is how she's looking at her like you might got the kids but I, I, I'll take your man this is the look she's looking at her right now it ain't even about oh um, Mia J is you the one that he's talking about setting him up because how can she look at Mia J like that when she came out of the blue from New York City where Mo three, I mean, um, Dolph's biggest op is from Jay Z. You from the same city and state that Jay Z is from. So how could you look at Mia J like Mia J is the one that's back that's backdooring him when both of y'all are backdooring him? Mia J just stupid. She's stupid because she had everything. She had everything. And to be honest with you, if I was Mia J during this time, I would have just played my position. I would have still been baby mama to your kids. But we would have been living separately because as long as you run around here messing with everybody, I would have just got me somebody that, you know, down for me. And went on about my life, okay? We would have just been taking care of the kids, you know, took out them. You have your terms with the kids. If you want to keep the kids, fine. I have my, I have the kids. If you want to let them stay with you sometime and they stay with me sometime, it would have been just like that. Ain't no way I'm going to sit at home while you running the streets messing around with everybody. Oh, no, that wasn't going to happen. But I wasn't going to hate you enough to want you out the way so that I can just have the money to myself. And agree upon, you know, other people having sharing that money with them because they're your ex-business partners. That wasn't going to be my way to stick it to Jody by taking out, helping line up my own baby daddy. That was stupid. And I don't understand why people claim she's so smart. And I'm going to say allegedly, because I don't know, did she help land them up or not? I wasn't there. But the signs is all over the place. Red flags is everywhere. When you, if, if she would not have donated money to Makita's, it would have been a different thing. But for you to donate some money to some people that everybody's pointing a finger to, that played a part, allegedly, even if you had doubts that I don't know for sure if they played a part or not, Ain't no way they would have got a damn out of me. That's what your insurance is for. They have a business insurance. If they windows get bust out, whatever, they insurance pay for that. So why would I have to help them out with a PPP loan? Not a PPP loan, but uh, um, GoFundMe. Why would I have to help them? They had a bunch of PPP loans too. But I'm just saying, why would I have to help them? Businesses have insurance policies. Their, the cookie place got hit up. Their insurance policy was supposed to pay for everything that was messed up. There was no need for no GoFundMe. 
to me, that GoFundMe was set up so they could get paid for the part they played legally. And it wouldn't look like they got paid for helping somebody do a hit. That's my personal opinion. Okay? And that made her look really, really bad. The fact that everybody knows that, you know, I don't know for sure, but this is what everybody's saying. The fact that everybody knows that Dolph was hooked on a cootie cat, Jody's cootie cat. That lets you know that Mia J had some type of animosity toward Dolph during that time. And not only that, he was still dealing with the other female that got hit up a week or so before he came there. Her on the street, they was mingling and saying, and she is, you know, the other girl is yo goddess, baby mama, the word on the street. So Dolph was messing with everything moving, basically. And she knew what it was. She chose to stay there. So why would you be so mad at a person that you chose to stay there and deal with the cheating and everything else? You chose that. He still spent his family time with her. But she chose to stay in that relationship. I'm sure Dolph wouldn't have been tripping if she would have wanted to move on. Because he was doing what he was doing. And the fact that he put stuff in his songs that he wasn't going to let no be run him and all of this stuff. The fact that he called her a bee and she was his baby mama. There was a lot of disrespect that Dolph was doing to Mia J. Let's put that out there. It's, it, it makes that perfectly clear. There was a lot of disrespect going on. But even though the disrespect was going on, did you? why would you wish his demise on him over the disrespect? Just move on. This goes to show you that it wasn't about him. It was about the money, the lifestyle. If you're not going to act right, I'll work with the people to get rid of you. And I'll still, I even have more. You know what I'm saying? More control of his money and all of this. Because that word on the street is she got into real estate stuff. And the fact that she got into real estate stuff and he bought 100 houses. I'm sure this is probably why he didn't tell her about the tree businesses. And he put that in his family name. He wanted to leave something to them. And he wanted to leave something to her. Even though, you know, he didn't want to marry her. Even though he was running around here cheating on her. Even though he felt like he didn't trust her all the way. She still had his kids. This was the baby mama of his children. So he was going to make sure she was good no matter what. But he also wanted to make sure his kids was good. And I think this is why he separated, I mean, his family was good. This is why he separated the two. You're going to have millions of dollars off of this hundred properties. You're straight. Now let me have something for my family. My aunt, she's going to be set. My sister is going to be set. And this goes to show you the relationship that Dolph had with the people that he had it with in his family. He loved his sister. He loved his auntie. Why didn't he put his brothers on any of that? Ask yourself that question. Or was the sister, um, and why is she so quiet? I, I, that's another thing. Is the sister scared? I'm just saying. Is the sister still in Memphis? Is she just quiet? Is she smoking her kneecaps off too? Because why is the sister quiet? If he left the tree business is in Aunt Rita and his in the sister name, why the sister so quiet? Why ain't she stepping up to the plate saying this is in my name? Why did Mia J have to go toe to toe in California with a daddy? -o? See, it's a lot of stuff that's weird about Dolph's family that I don't understand. And people keep saying, you know, his brother wouldn't do this to him, his brother with that, his brother with this. I don't know what his brother would do or not. I just told y'all what I heard. 
and what I saw and what everybody said. If they had that big weapon that he had and you didn't hit anybody when they was driving off. Now, a lot of people saying the, the, it, it jammed and all kind of stuff. People are saying that. But I'm just, where were you? How could, how could they run up on him, but you're supposed to be watching him? Where were you when this stuff went down? Why wasn't you ready? And it ain't all his fault because Dolph should have had professional security. And why is he so quiet now? The brother, you don't hear anything about nothing. Okay? The family is ghosts. Like you don't hear from the mama, the daddy, the sister, the nothing. If anybody was supposed to come and, you know, any up and go toe to toe with Pop Papa Oreo, it should have been the sister. Since Aunt Rita passed away, may she rest in peace. Since she passed away, why ain't the sister coming forth saying something? Why does she leave it upon Mia J to go take those, you know, tree places back from Papa Oreo? Why did her name is on it? The sister name is on those businesses. Why didn't she take care of that? Or do she feel like, you know, Mia Jake is better equipped to handle it due to the fact that she has this real estate license and all this stuff. So maybe she knows about taking back stuff for this and that and that and this. But it's in your name. So it makes no sense. I'm just saying, yeah. I can see if the sister and Aunt Rita was gone. But the sister is still alive. So she, by law, have, you know, rights to those places in California. So why did Mama Bear over here get involved? This is why I'm telling you, I think that this is jealousy. I think that she is peed off in one way. Uh, maybe, like I said, there were rumors going around that uh, huh, Papa, Papa Oreo was getting it on. So maybe she got jealous. She, no, you ain't about to take another man from me. Okay? Now, I, that could not be true, too, because word right on the street, a lot of people are saying that they think that she moved out of town. She don't even live in Memphis. They think she went back to where she came from, which I do believe is Michigan, I think. Detroit. I think this is where me and Jay is from. So a lot of people are saying that they think she went back there. So if that's the case, why would she care about who uh, Poppy or Papa Oreo is uh, mingling and tingling with? Why would she care, y'all? Okay? Is she more concerned not about really Papa Oreo, but um, is this all about Jody? You was messing with my man. Now, you still spending my man money? Oh, no. Would it have been different if Papa Oreo had gotten somebody else pregnant? Then him getting a Jody? She probably looking like, you You mean to tell me you still around? You still dipping in the money? This is for my kids. All of a sudden, it's for her kids. But like I said, they say she didn't know about it. So I have to look, take that in consideration, too. They saying she did not know about it. And maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe the sister didn't know either. Maybe it was something that he was working on just, you know, getting around to telling her that, oh, I got these in your name. Maybe he didn't tell her. And maybe he trusted this lawyer to let everybody know who he divided stuff out to if something was to happen to him. Baby mama right here already know possibly the houses was, by her being in real estate, you would think that she would have all the houses that he bought on lock. So maybe that's why they're keeping it from the public because she has these in her name. Okay, I don't know. Okay, but it would make sense. Now, as far as the tree businesses, this could have been something that he worked out with his lawyer and that, because I, I be watching shows and this is something that happens when you get a good lawyer that do what you they supposed to do okay people pass and then a lawyer knocks on your door and be like um you know 
your relative left you this and that and that and this or call you and say your relative left you this and that and that and this. But in Dolph's case, they said that this lawyer that he has is a snake. Word on the street. I don't know, her, but I'm just saying. They say she's a snake. And they say she also is working with the ops. So this is why it was so easy for her to um, let people do whatever they want with, with Dolph's stuff, okay? So maybe this lawyer, if, if this is the same lawyer, I don't know, I'm just saying. But maybe this lawyer did not reach out to Dolph's family members and tell them, you get this, you get that, you get that. This is old to you. So it's a possibility that his sister might not even know about the dispensaries. Maybe she's just finding out about it. I don't know. I know I'm putting it out there. <laughs> look, I'm going to put it out. Because, look, me and Jay did not know until I put the video out. Now, maybe his sister going to find out that they're in her name. They're in her name. The tree spots is in her name. Um, Rita, It was in Rita's name, too, but Rita passed. So now all this stuff that's going on in California belongs to this sister. So if this was what Dolph wanted... And he put this in her name. The sister should step forward, not Mia J. Not Mia J. And as far as the profits, I think the sister should, you know, work with a estate, the estate to put money aside from what, you know, she's making off of those spots that he left her in charge of. And put money aside for his children. Mia J should not be handling this. I don't know. I do not understand why the family is letting Mia J make all the decisions. But at the same time, when Dolph first passed, Mia J was letting Papa Oreo make all the decisions. Make that make sense? Because if you connect the dots, it just makes it look like Papa Oreo made the plans for everything. And I do mean every day working with the ops to make plans with about everything okay papa oreo cookie crumbs okay y'all and the fact that he go after certain people that amazes me when other people is putting stuff out so the fact that i would get a, a letter from you know papa oreo's a lawyer And other channels is not getting it. Maybe the other channels don't know what the H to the E-L-L they're talking about. Ask yourself that question. Because they still talking about them. But I'm not allowed to. Okay, y'all? Not say the name at least. So I don't mind giving them a Oreo cookie crumb nickname. I don't mind. Okay, y'all? I don't. Because that's what you look like to me. Round and black. <laughs> mm mm Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section because this feud is getting real, y'all. It's getting real. And I kept saying this over and over again. Why ain't the family beefing at all? But now the beef is heating up. And I'm wondering, is, is this sister going to come forth and be like, he left this to me, Mia J. Step aside. Okay. But at the same time, do she just want to wash her hands of it and not be... If your brother gets taken out in the worst way, now they said 22 hits, but we hearing differently. But it's still in all. If your family member gets taken out in that type of way, it could be a possibility that they don't want nothing at this mess. They don't want nothing that's tied to Dolph in that manner. But if you have the rights to it, do something. If you don't even want to deal with it anymore... You know, go through um, proper paperwork or this and that and that and this, but still make sure that you are getting your cut out of it and instead of somebody else enjoying it, okay? Because this, if Dolph put you on there, he wanted you to have this, okay, sister girl? But anyway, um, I'm going to keep up with what's going on with this, but y'all, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Now, they are beefing to high sour, y'all. And I mean, they going at it, okay? He said he's about to sue me, J. This ninja is correct, cray, okay, y'all? He's correct, cray. Too much feeling on the inside, okay, y'all? 
they stuffed that cookie a little bit too much because he feels that he's more, you know, he have more rights than Duff's kids right now. What's wrong with this man? And if he's feeling a, that way about Dolph's kids, what y'all think he felt about Dolph? This just l makes it look like you were in mad setting Dolph up over money. You're greedy. And when you're greedy, you'll do anything. Okay, y'all? But anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.